I also want to announce that I will try to bring more active videos in the near future. Okay guys, so that didn't turn out that well. Um, yeah, one month. <clears throat> um, but yeah, there were reasons. But no, for real. Welcome friends here to a new video. Today we are making a first impressions video about the new quotation marks cataclysm or a classic plus um, server path of classic. And yes, a little trigger warning, I'm not presenting a Wattle case server here. Unfortunately, I have to call this a trigger warning, because everything that is not fresh Wattle K is dead on arrival. However, I have of course switched on the beta of Path of Classic and took a look at it today. First of all, this is a first impressions video. In no case, I will rate this server from A to Z, because I only spent a few hours here and tested the quest and dead mines. Nevertheless, I would like to tell you a little bit about my last hour on the server. First of all, all the world chat was really active for this small beta. On average, 28 to 35 players were online and we all had a blast together. Even though the first quest of Elven Forest took probably longer than the whole Westfall quest chain because the enemies in the cave did not spawn to that well and the boss just don't want to drop their meat. But overall, the quests were working pretty fine. Northshire was completely playable without a single quest bug and so was Elven Forest. After some time I finally made it into my most loved zone in game, Westfall. And hey, the intro quests as well as the storyline about Horatio and his kill buddy were scripted. The wins all played along and they were working. However, after I spied on the four bandits and they told me I must die, they decided otherwise and just chilled along. I probably were too scary for them with my just looted green BOE hammer. But after that, the epic adventure continued. And as I traveled through the yellow fields of Westfall, there was this quest I didn't wait for, Westfall Stew. You may ask, why? So, do you remember what I just told you about Elven Forest and the boars don't want to drop their porky meat? Guess what the boars in Westfall were? Of course, vegetarians. So I again had to kill approximately 250 boars till I got all my boar meat for the wonderful and definitely very healthy Westfall Stew. And by the way, I leveled them on the way to do so. After my ages of farming some boar meat and wolf fangs, I headed over to Sentinel Hill to check what's up there. I took some quest, crushed some enemy bones and turned the quest back in. But then, it happened. The dungeon queue popped and I knew I was about to go deep into the dead mines, challenge the almighty cookie and loot some awesome gear which I will outlevel in probably 10 minutes. But hey, it was dead mines. Or at least some sort of dead mines. Because yes, dead mines was here and they're a little bugged. The trash NPCs were all working fine, except for this wonderful goblin lady which didn't even try to attack us. Must be because of my green and shiny BOE hammer of course. However, some bosses were a little tricky. Like the second one which randomly phased out and maybe said hi to his heroic version friends for some seconds, who knows. After the second boss we continued to travel and got to the Faux Reaper 5000, which did not activate and the GM had to make the way free for us. Next up we got there, the holy halls of Cookie and his pirate friends. The first boss we should encounter here would be this mysterious, great, strong and huge bull, but he was already dead. Must be one of those magic tricks from the hunter, wasn't it? Next up we were fighting our way up to the boss, to the end boss, ready for that spicy, rare, medium rare loot. But let's just say the only awesome view on a piece of art we had was this giant turkey which spawned out of nowhere and told us the boss is sadly face bugged with the heroic version of the dungeon, which by the way wiped us some seconds before. After this more or less epic adventure into the dead mines, I decided to go back to leveling via quests because basically my prod warrior was a pure killing machine and all quests I did were working 100% fine and were all scripted. No, but for real. 
This was the first public opening to the community of Path of Classic. The server was brand new and early in development or is brand new. I did not expect it a well working server at all and with this mindset I even got surprised by how well all, literally all quests were working to Red Ridge Mountains where I tested so far. With the Westfall storyline being completely scripted, we had a lot of fun in our guild and groups the last hours and I would be it would be pretty unfair to already push this server into the dead on arrival box. I am pretty sure, based on what I saw at the moment, the only real problem which still exists are the dungeons and I'm even more sure about OMG High and his team will fix that. Just think about what a shit show Apollo 2 was on launch and today it's the best Cataclysm server which exists. I am very excited about the future of Path of Classic and will follow its development actively. Till then, cheers.